Asha is a 35 year old farmer from Patikonda village in the Chittoor district of Andhra Pradesh. Her day starts early in the morning when she has to cook for her family and after that she heads out to her field to harvest her current crop which is tomato. Even though she has been working just as hard as the other farmers she discovers that the current crop is not paying her the right amount of money after taking it to the local market. She starts to think and tries to figure out why things didn't work out for her. After plucking the tomatoes she is keeping them in a container which is a large steel drum that was once used to store coal tar. She had picked it up when she found it discarded next to the road that was newly constructed in her village. After storing them in a dark and dingy corner of her house, she realized that after a few days, some of the tomatoes have turned bad due to fungi and insects which thrive on poor ventilation and storage. After selecting the best ones, she decides to take them to the market the next day. She packs them tightly in a bag and keeps it on top of the bus along with the other farmers bags which have tomatoes as well as other produce. Along the way there are some bad patches on the road and the driver of the bus also drives rash as he is in a hurry to make as many trips back and forth as possible in a day. The bus takes her from her village to the vegetable market in Chittoor which is approximately 72 kilometers away. When she finally reaches the market she is disappointed to see that some of the selected tomatoes have also gone bad. What is that that she could have done in the first place that could have prevented her crop from going bad? She meets Sudha who is also from her village but is earning more money for her produce although the size of her farm is the same. Asha discusses her problem with Sudha who explains to her what she does as soon as the tomato harvest season starts. What did you do to get a good harvest? After harvesting the tomatoes, Sudha carefully separates the underripe and the overripe tomatoes. In addition, I removes those with slight skin damages or color spots can be used for immediate consumption or can be sun dried for home consumption. And the ones which are very bad can be used to make compost which acts as a fertilizer and benefits her soil. This sorting process eliminates defective tomatoes from good ones. Thus, lowering the spread of spoilage. I then proceed to clean the tomatoes by washing them with salty water, drying them and applying food grade wax. After this, I sort them as per their sizes. All these procedures reduce water loss and increase the shelf life of the tomatoes and also make them look good in appearance. What practices did you follow to store your tomatoes? Pre-cooling and good temperature management is the most effective way to reduce post-harvest losses and preserve the quality of tomatoes. Microorganisms attack fresh produce easily and spread quickly because tomatoes do not have much of a natural defense mechanism and have plenty of nutrients and moisture to support microbial growth. I store them in a clean room which has proper ventilation and water cooling since our village faces high temperatures which are bad for the crop. To further increase their shelf life, I also store my tomatoes in proper crates separately in a room with a low temperature between 7 degrees Celsius to 10 degrees Celsius. These crates are easy to lift and stockpile. Cold storage, however, requires a little bit more money to be invested. How did you transport tomatoes safely to the market? When the tomatoes are ready to be sold in the market, I'm very careful with stacking the crates on top of each other and carefully placing them on the bus, also checking that there is no produce placed on the top of a crop. While I cannot do much about the state of the road and the driver's rash driving, I made sure that my tomatoes are kept in the right place on the bus so that there is minimal damage to her produce. Asha makes notes of all these points and vows to commit herself to these practices of careful selection, wax application, right storage and right transport. In the next season, Asha implemented Sudha's advice and enjoyed a good quality produce. When she sold her tomatoes in the market, she makes more money than the last season and decides to spend some of the money from her profit to make her storage unit even better than the current one so that she has better tomatoes and more profit in the next season. Asha has realized the importance of post-harvest management and why it is extremely crucial for the success of the agriculture sector and how it contributes to increase food security.